cell the basic unit of life earth is beautiful place with different types of organisms from small masses to huge conifers invisible bacteria the huge blue whale all have a basic unit called cell all living organisms are made of cells before the first microscope was invented around 350 years ago people were not aware of living world that was not visible to naked eye after many scientists were observing and describing a known world with the help of microscope scientists are athanasius kircher jans mamerdam and antony van leeuwenhoek and robert hoke observing a matchstick take a matchstick and soak it for a half an hour and cut thin slices of it select a thin slice and place it on a slide put a drop of water and cover it with a cover slip without allowing air bubbles and observe it under microscope both cells are not similar the discovery of cell by robert hook was a milestone in the history of science cells of cork and of matchstick are dead cells observing an onion peel peel of an onion cut a small freshly portion from the bulb break this piece into small parts and try to separate them we can notice a thin transparent film holding the pieces together take out the film cut a small pieces from it and spread it evenly in a drop of water on a slide while placing the peel on a slide make sure that it is not folded cover it with a cover slip and observe it under the microscope observing human cheek cell to prepare a slide of your own cheek cell wash your mouth cleanly take a clean wooden or plastic spoon and scrub the inner surface of your cheek note wash the spoon thoroughly before using it do not scrub too hard or you could hurt yourself take a scrubbing cell and place it in a drop of water taken on a slide cover the slide with a cover slip observe the slide under the microscope a significant observation robert brown have made a significant contribution to our understanding of cell among different organelles the nucleus is the most well known part phyllis fontana and some other scientists first saw the nucleus in the epithelial cells brown observed the nucleus cells in the epidermis of orchard leaves in the year 1831 we can also see three stomata with the help of stomata leaves exchange the gas observation of nucleus in the onion peel 
Peel a membrane of onion and place it on a slide and add one to two drops of the stain. Cover this with a cover slip and leave it for about 5 minutes. Then add water drops. Now observe this slide under a microscope. The blue spot observed within the cell is the nucleus. Nucleus in cheek cell. Wash your mouth cleanly. Scrap the inner surface of your cheek with plastic spoon and place the scrapping cells under the microscope. Now, observe the nucleus in them. The boundary of cheek cell is the cell membrane. Cell membrane gives a space to the cell and selectively allows substance to pass through it in or out of the cell. In the cell of onion peel, the outer covering is clearer than in a cheek cell. It is because there is another layer present over the cell membrane known as cell wall in onion cell. Cell wall gives rigidity to the cell. In cheek cells, the nucleus is present more or less at the center of the cell, whereas in onion cells, it is not in the center. The jelly-like substance between the nucleus and the cell membrane is called cytoplasm. It is very heterogeneous material. Cytoplasm contains membrane-bound structures called cell organelles as well as more complex chemicals. Cell organelles help to carry out several functions within the cell. So, cell is also known as the structural and functional unit of a living body.